Let's say you want to stay more organized and want to have the same subfolders for every new project that you are starting from scratch. I found an easy way with a workflow created by Marius Ostrowski which can be downloaded on GitHub. He has put a description, but it is asking for some knowledge of the Mac OS X system you might not be aware of, so I am going to tell you a bit more about. When you click into icons on your Mac and right click you will find services which are bound to that type of application. A folder has different services to offer than a picture or video. This works with applications as well. What we are interested in is the folders. In Marius' description you are asked to put the downloaded workflow into the library services. If only you knew where to find that folder. What I found are these steps to make it more easy to find the folder. If you access the user library often, you might want to just enable it permanently as a visible folder in the user home directory. This is a simple settings change, which will cause Mac OS Finder to always show the library folder in the user home. From the Mac OS Finder, go to the user's home folder. Services can only be found from there. Pull down the view menu and choose view options. Choose show library folder in the settings options for the user home folder. If you want to find out more about services, go into the system preferences and then keyboard and services, which gives you options to make key shortcuts to do stuff. But back to the task at hand. When the new service is working for you, there is likely changes you want to have in the structure. To do changes, you need to open this workflow with the famous Automator tool. You can open the Automator by telling Siri or you right-click the existing workflow file and choose Open with Automator, as you can see. This is an extensive list of things you can change. And of course there is plenty of ways to play with it. You can change the folder names to your liking, anytime. And as you imagined already, you can create another workflow to have another set of folders in the new created preset. For example to camera A, you could have folders with days of shooting etc. In the end you go in automator options to convert to and choose workflow. This stars the file directly into the services library where you can access it again via the services option of the folder menu and of course you can share your workflow with other colleagues if required enjoy thank you for watching like and subscribe